Oh shit, the mic was on. <laughs> Not only that, I had two mics on. Hi. Hi. Okay, YouTube is working, Twitch is working, I believe. Harurun! Hello, Crabster! How are you? How's your day? Yummy! Now, where's my pencil? <clears throat> okay, no more intro. Uh, screen capture? Why is there audio for screen capture? What? What is this even capturing? Okay. Okay. Hello, everybody. Hello, Loon. I'm Alins, webtoon comic creator, author of Blank, Btuber, part time Btuber. <laughs> Realize that I never do the introduction for this channel. <laughs> How are you guys? How is everybody? It's been... I wanted to stream yesterday, but internet said no. Currently happy and about to waste a stupid amount of money on cardboard for Yu-Gi-Oh! <laughs> this is like normal for you to like be wasting money every time we stream. <laughs> Me? Uh, I'm pretty happy. I've been having a, an awesome day. Well, no, I, I, I've been just working, but like, I've been feeling great lately. Um, except for the fact that when we were gonna start the stream, that I was like, oh, I'm gonna restart the stream. Uh, I'm gonna restart the computer so that the stream runs smoothly because last time it was lagging. So I restarted my computer, normal, and then it freaking started updating three times. I don't know why, and it took so long. And then, okay, we were done with that. Okay, computer updated and everything. Turn on the computer. Uh, I plug in the iPad. And suddenly it says, you have to update your software for the iPad to be able to connect to your computer. And I was like, what are you freaking kidding me? And that was like another 50 minutes or something. Like 10, 15 minutes or something. <laughs> uh, and then I have to, I had to update Nizi my life too like man why does everything have to update when I uh, when I when I got a stream it's just this today is a coloring stream but I was drawing this one panel so I I wanna finish the eyes at least and then and then if you saw on twitter uh i had a snack prepared for lucario because i always uh how do it i i always have a snack for him when i stream so he he leaves me alone <laughs> um but because i couldn't start the stream on time he kept protesting because he knew that I had the snack. He, he was like, it's not my fault that, 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 that the stream hasn't started. But 
you gotta give me this knock. So eventually, I just gave him the snack. He actually already finished the snack. And it's been like how how long? Like five minutes of stream. <laughs> so yeah. But overall, I I've been really happy lately. Mhm mm mhm. Mm Cause like on the weekend, uh, it was the AR live. This is the air live, and I, I got to see my favorites. Hello, Armorks. Hello, CZ. Um, I don't think your computer wanted to stream. I don't think the universe wants me to stream because it's like yesterday. I wanted to stream so bad, and then the internet was like, uh, my internet service was like, you like we're working on returning the service or something like that and fixing the thing and it's going to be back around 1 a.m but it was like back and then gone and then back and then gone throughout the whole day so i just decided to go to starbucks uh and like just hung out there to have like a coffee and and draw i went to work at the starbucks so yeah. Mm -mm. And today this thing happened. Oh yeah, yeah. So the weekend was your live and it was so amazing because I got to see my Oshis uh dance and and sing in 3D in a concert and it was so good. It was so 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 good. I was so happy. I was so freaking happy. Plus, I I got to hang out um, with a, a pretty good friend. So yeah. So yeah, life's good. Been pretty happy. Plus, dog is cute. So how can how can't you be happy when your dog is so cute and you have awesome people in your life? Mhm mm mhm. Mm what did he eat? Like his snack? Like Lucario's snack? Uh I gave him a bully stick. You know what a bully stick is? It's like it's like uh like a nerve from a cow's penis you know <laughs> at least that's what I heard it was <laughs> Luca Luca Where'd he go? Where'd he go? Luca! Oh my god, the sky is so pretty. Where did you go, baby? Did you did I leave the door open? One more fish? You still have fish. Can I give you more fish? The final fish small enough for this to fit. Whoa, whoa. Too loud. Whoa, whoa. Whoa. 
えおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおo おおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおo o o o o o Give me a wow wow. Too loud. Wow wow. Oh oh oh. Wow wow. Ah ah. Wow wow. Wow wow. Oh oh. Wow wow. Ah ah. Wow wow. Ah, it's too loud. Wow wow. Good boy. Oh, too loud. Wow wow. Too loud, baby. Wow, wow. Oh, it's too loud. Wow, wow. 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 Mm mm. You're doing wow, wow. I'm saying wow, wow. It's wow wow. Wow wow. No, baby, you gotta be quiet. Wow wow. Wow wow. Wow wow. He got bored. Okay, you're not gonna do it. Then, how about you give me under? Under? No. This is howla. Under? Under the chair. This dog is so funny. He was not in the mood for quiet wow wows. So what was I talking about? <laughs> Sorry, a nerve for what? Uh, what I heard was that it was the nerve for a cow penis. The cow's pee pee. You know. Nice weather. The school things seems to be going great. Yeah, I've been pretty happy lately. Ah, <laughs> uh, man, just a few minutes ago, the sky was so beautiful. It was like a shade of. It was like this color. Let me see. Can I find it? It was like this color. And the the clouds were pink. It was so beautiful. It was like this. Wish I could have taken a picture. But I'm using my phone for tracking, so that's not gonna happen. <laughs> so yeah, yeah, things are good. Uh, even if my mom's still a bitch. I I've been feeling too good to like 
care <laughs> um don't let him go play with other dogs who you carry Oh yeah, before the stream, I couldn't get him to come in, come inside because he was like so invested watching the little kids play with the ball. And he doesn't even like kids. Like I swear this dude is like seriously scared of kids. Like seriously <coughs> scared of kids. He already doesn't like people in general. But he's deadly scared of of kids. Like when we when we're having long walks and we see a lot of people, he generally just goes behind me or change to the other side if someone comes like near him. But if he sees a kid, he'll literally jump. Like he'll he'll be walking and then see a kid and then jump like out of fear. Like, what is this? What is this little human? I've never seen such little, small, threatening human. <laughs> I don't know why. He's just funny. He was looking at the fresh meat running around. I don't know. I don't know why he was so invested because he doesn't like kids. But he wasn't like scared invested. He was just attentive invested for some reason. I don't know. Who understands this dog? Not me. Funniest part is that I'm the one who understands him the best. And even I cannot understand <laughs> What's wrong with him? <laughs> but he's cute like that. So. I hear they also have permanent auditions now. Yeah, I hear so too. So now you like people can apply it whenever they want. Which is like pretty cool because before they used to have deadlines. And the deadlines were like... At the beginning, they were like one month, and then they started changing it to like uh, two weeks or something. It wasn't enough time. <laughs> I mean, I guess if you're already like an experienced content creator, you can, and you don't have like anything better to do, then you probably can just apply. But if you're busy with work, then two weeks is just not enough. At least in my opinion. So it's pretty cool that, cool that they're um, permanent now. Mm. You should totally apply if they have it perma now. Mm, maybe. <laughs> maybe. You will be pretty cool. Maybe I'll try. Maybe. If I have the time. <laughs> I don't know. I mean, it would be a dream for me. But yeah. Yeah, I just wanted to finish drawing the... The eyes, but should I finish the actual drawing? Generally, I'm not really good at drawing line art on stream. Like most of the times when I finish the line art on stream and then I see it off stream, it's like, why is it so ugly? <laughs> I have performance anxiety. Where's it? Okay. 
I think the face is pretty decent. It's just uh, maybe maybe the eyes are a little bit too far apart. Uh, let me try. Uh, just modifying the iris. Push it a little bit to the center. Mm. Yeah, I think that's better. And then... Oh yeah, once we finish with the once I finish with my deadline, I really want to do a game stream because we haven't we haven't tried uh having a game stream in a while. I think the last one was around November. Was it or December? I don't remember. But it's a, it was a while ago cuz you guys remember that I had like the eye issues. So everything will give me um um motion sickness so i had to stop i couldn't even finish metroid because i was having so many uh motion sickness issues even zelda was hard to play Never hurts to try? Yeah, that's true. That's true, that's true. Oh yeah, today I'm having matcha latte. So I was really tired, so I really wanted some caffeine. So I ordered a matcha latte. I'll raise the mouth a little bit. Now the eyes look weird. What I do? Huh. Eee. What? What is better? This? 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 I don't know. What game are you thinking about playing? Uh, I don't know if I should finish Metroid or I should play like something else. Because we still have to play Dark Souls, right? So I don't know. Do you think Dark Souls takes a lot? <laughs> yeah, it probably. It will probably take me a long time to play Dark Souls. Hmm. 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 What do you guys think? Is there any like short games that I can play? Ah, uh, gonna hide the screen. So I can change layers. I mean pages. And then I'm gonna open the reference. Uh, reference, reference. Reference, reference here. And then I'm gonna put 
this year. Yeah, because I, I have like... All of the games that I have, they're pretty long. Hmm. I do have this this one game. Do I have battery on my Switch? I do have this one game. Um, 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 um. Did I delete it? Where's my... Maybe I deleted it. Cookie or Yonde? I have that game, Cookie or Yonde. Oh, Cookie, Cookie or. What's it called? Oh. Cookie. Cookie, Yomi. Cookie, Yomi. Which is like pretty, pretty short, short and sweet. But I don't know. Cause like most of the short games, they're for Windows and I have Mac. Just like mostly Switch. Oh yeah, I forgot to turn on the screen again. So, what we're gonna do is some um, coloring. Yeah, Cookie Yomi is a, it's a pretty short game. It's about like Cookie Yomi. Uh, it's like reading the room in Japanese. There's a goofy little short game called Mits Mitsoa. 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 Game? Editorial? Mitsi? Mi 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 mitsua? Mitosa? You mean Mitosa? Is this a horror game? I think the picture of it is like of a seed. It might be on Switch now that I think about it. Is it a horror game? Isn't there that that game? Um, um. It's not scary, just weird. It's weird. I would play League of Legends, but like, I haven't played in so long. I bet I'm gonna suck at it. I would love to play Wild Reef, but I no longer have it in my iPad. I don't even have Project Sakai anymore on my iPad. I don't have memory. Like storage.
Could try Azure Lane. Hmm. What type of game is Azure Lane? Isn't it like sort of RPG esque? I don't know. RPG esque. But I've been playing in my own time. Um, although no la lately because I've been pretty busy. But I've been playing um, Fire Emblem Three Hopes. Gacha Bullet Hill. Man, I try to avoid gachas with all my life because I have such bad self control. The other day, I almost spent money on Love and This Space because I couldn't get Rafi. But I ended up getting one of one of the cards so saved it's like once you start you cannot you cannot stop <coughs> mm -hmm. really bad habit it's a really really bad habit you know, you can spend money in gachas because if you spend money in gachas, you can spend money in dog snacks. Yeah, for real. Most most of the money that I earn goes just to dog snacks. You think you have bad self control? I probably spend thousands on the six or so years that I play Azure Lane. Trust me, you can't get much worse than me. I mean, I don't want to compare myself to you because like, I don't have that much money, to be honest. So the money that I use is the money that I earn from working. <laughs> and like, I have to pay for my dog, so I cannot really like mindlessly spend. Although I gotta admit that today I may have spent a little bit more than I was planning to cuz I I needed to get I needed to get eyeliner. I ran out of eyeliner. Yesterday I was going out and I remember that last time my last bit of eye eyeliner broke. So I was like, well, I probably have enough for one more time if I use my brush and scrape off the rest of the eyeliner. So I did one eye. I drew one eye. And then when I went to draw the other line, the, the other line for the other eye, it wasn't enough eyeliner. So I had like one eye done and I have like eye and a half. And I, cannot, I cannot go out with one eye and a half I already was dressed pretty so if I'm dressed pretty and not just with a hoodie then I want to get my makeup done so what I did was uh, <laughs> I took my mascara because my mascara is waterproof because like for my eyes you, you, you need to you need to uh, have like waterproof because I have monoliths so if you don't have waterproof or if the waterproof is not good enough then it's gonna um, it's gonna smudge like really bad wait let me rest restart the tracking so if you if you don't uh, have like good enough waterproof is gonna freaking smooch smudge 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 everywhere uh, i'll end up like with with under eyes that are not under eyes <laughs> and look like a panda i'm saying this from experience <laughs> that all the eyeliner is gonna go to my under eyes instead of staying in my eyelids so well I had like a, I have like a pretty good uh, waterproof mascara that I don't use like almost never because I don't 
I don't do my my lashes. They just don't stay up, and I don't own any fa falsies. So the false eyelashes. Uh, I don't I don't own any. So I'm like, why did I buy this for? I was like, but but they say that this this one mascara is pretty good for monoliths, so maybe maybe it'll stay up. It didn't. I'll try every single method. It didn't. I freaking hate my eyelashes. I swear, I used to have a classmate that had such. He was he was a guy. He was a guy, and he had such long eyelashes. I was so freaking jealous because his eyelashes would go up and curl up on their own. And mine are like, mine are like straight down. No matter what I do, they just stay down. I tried everything. I tried heat. I tried like all sorts of mascara. I even tried with, with false lashes. And they still go down. So I just at this point I just gave up. It's what I had like a professional photo shoot once. Um and what they did was uh they they stuck like eyelid tape on my eyelids and one wasn't enough. Two were enough. Three weren't enough. They put like at least five. And it looks so dang bad. It's like, why do I have to have so much tape in my eyes? And after that is when my eyelashes stayed up. <laughs> Plus falsies. And I'm like, I'm not doing this for a daily basis. They tape your eyes? Yeah, because like, have you never seen those eyelid tapes for Asian eyes? Well, I guess you can use it in other types of eyes too. Why, am I, why are my eyes not opening properly? Okay. Yeah, there's like eye eye eyelid tape for monoliths and Asian eyes and stuff. Uh, and I tried, and uh, one is not enough. Two is not enough. They put like five. And I was like, I'm not going through this again. So. So yeah. Anyways, so I have this mascara, it's pretty good. But I don't use it because I never do my lashes. I just do shadows and eyeliner. And then I just leave my eye, my, my lashes because like, I cannot bother. Um, so I took part of the mascara. I use my eyeliner brush and I just drew the rest of the eyeliner with, with mascara instead but hey it held up pretty good pretty pretty decently you were a panda you went key style <laughs> not even that Like, his style would be more fashionable than, than what I used to look like when I didn't have, like, the proper eyeliner. So, yeah. So, I run off eyeliner. Um, I'm the sort of person that if I'm going to do my makeup, I have to do my eyeliner. There's no other way. I, I gotta do it. So, so, uh, I, 
I bought myself more eyeliner. I'm pretty nervous because I got liquid eyeliner and I haven't gotten liquid eyeliner since 2016. Mm -hmm. mm. Because I thought it was too hard to use, so I just started using gel eyeliner. This is a little bit more, uh, like, easy to apply and you have a little bit more room to fix it. But when I use a mascara, mascara is basically just liquid eyeliner. So I was like, okay, may as well try since I haven't tried in such a long time. Can stay, I would really like to stay, but you know, there are things to do. But thanks for coming and hanging out for a little bit. Good luck in whatever you have to do. So yeah, I decided to to try. So if I don't like like the pencil, I can just... I'm gonna mask... Uh, the folder to the base layer. So if I don't like the pencil brush, I'm just gonna use my own brush and fix it. I hope it works. Cause I, it was $10. It's pretty expensive. I ended up getting a... Uh, like an eyeshadow because I've been feeling because all my eyeshadows are brown right now because my pink eyeshadow expired my orange eyeshadow also expired so all I uh, own right now is like colors of brown and beige so I've been feeling like pink recently because I have some mauve like some pretty pretty rosy pretty uh lips lip lip products lip lip tints they're not like tints but yeah it's not that lipstick it's not a lip gloss but it's not a lip tint something in between <laughs> Oh yeah, so 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 I got I got like a set of four like a little palette of four that had like a little pinkish one, a brown one, I, I think it had like a shimmer and I re don't remember the other one. But it looked pretty nice. I got that, I got an eyeliner, and then I got a... Uh, uh, I think I got some acne, acne patches, like for hormonal acne that I get like once a month. Um, I got that. Uh, what else did I get? Let me check my email. What else did I get? I know I got sunscreen. Because I needed sunscreen. Because my, my sunscreen is expired. I actually have to throw away some of my skincare. Because it's like... Expired. I have replacements, but... <laughs> it's, there's so much left. I just don't want to throw it away. Okay, so I got, I got sunscreen... I'm pretty excited because they say that one leaves your skin pretty glowy. I really like that because I have dry skin. Oh, and the last thing that I got was like a organic oil lip essence. Why? Because I got a lip balm the other day when I, I, I had to get uh, my shampoo refilled. Why am I lagging? What did I do? Why am I lagging? So I, I had to get my shampoo refilled. 
And I use Korean shampoos because they're like the ones that were best, work best for my hair for some reason. Because uh, I've tried Japanese and they were not nice to my hair. So I just use Korean. And it has to be like, I use a uh, uh, hair, hair loss uh, specific ones because I'm scared of hair loss. So if I don't use ha hairless shampoos, I start like shedding hair. And I, I don't like that. Because I already don't have a lot of hair. So I, I use a Korean one. The brand is NARS. I've been using it for... Like... Hello Matsujun! I've been using it for... Like a year? and a half now like since 2022 and this is like my third time buying uh that one hello ever love just go bold easy hair care no i don't like the bold style on me i don't i like my my face to be covered because otherwise i feel bloated and fat So yeah, um, uh, been buying that one since uh, 2022. It's like my third time getting it, uh, and I, I think I like it because normally shampoos, after I use them for a while, they start getting um, like the effectiveness stops, and this hasn't happened with that one. And like the previous shampoo that I had, it worked for a while. And then after a few months, it started making my hair so uh, oily and itchy. And I started developing so much dandruff. It was so annoying. But after I started using the NARS one, uh, it pretty much stopped. So I just stuck with it. I really like it. It's a Korean brand. So anyways, I had to refill my, my shampoo. And I thought, maybe I should get something else besides just the shampoo. Because I still have conditioner left, so I didn't need that. Um, and I was between sunscreen and a lip balm. I felt my lips were a little bit dry because my lip essence uh, expired. So I got the lip balm. Not even a week after! Well, not even a month after, because it's been like two weeks. Not even two weeks after, this freaking dog ate the lip balm. He ate it. The only thing I have left is the lid. Nothing else. I don't know where the rest of the lip balm is. He just ate it. So now my lips are dry, and I don't have a lip balm. Ugari is not at fault here. He thought it was a snack. No, it wasn't his fault. It was the fault for the person that freaking dropped it to the floor, and that wasn't me. That wasn't me. I didn't drop it to the floor. But someone dropped it to the floor. And that's why Lucario ate my lip balm. And it was $15! $15! For like one week and a half of use. 
my money. And then so when I thought maybe I should have got him the sunscreen instead. Have you tried prenatal vitamins? My hair is long and I wanted to grow it longer after taking a about six months of prenatal vitamins. My hair is super long. I don't want my hair to be long. I don't like long hair. It's just that, that my hair uh, is really sensitive. And like some shampoos make it like shed a lot. And I don't have the best genes because my brother is balding already. I'm, uh, I have the, the same genes. So yeah. Why use leak balm? Leak balm? It's lip balm, not leak balm. Why not just lick your own lips? Because that makes it more dry. Licking your own lips makes it more dry. Is this really the color? It sort of looks darker. I think it is the same. Hmm. That's weird. But it was the wrong layer. This should have gone on top eh wait no i didn't same layer uh, eh. but that has an easy solution <laughs> yeah leaking your own lips makes your lips more dry eventually so it's not a good thing it's a bad habit but Lip balms also make your lips drier. So if you can get a lip essence that can maintain the humidity uh, and moisture locked in your lips, I suggest that instead. But I was like, I was like, well, this is a good brand, tobacco. So I was like, Okay, I'm gonna try this because, like, I've heard the brand is pretty good. It was the same as the other lip balms, to be honest. I was just mad because, like, I like barely got any use of it, and it was fifteen dollars. So this time I got a lip oil essence. Mhm. Mm Because I had a lip essence before, I actually still have it. It's here with me, but... When did this expire? This expired last year, November. But I still have some. I'm gonna apply some now. And this one is so cool because it's blueberry. No, it's grape. And it smells just like grape. It's so cool. I would tell you if it tastes like grape, but it's expired, so I don't want to taste it. <laughs> I removed the excess. 
I really like it because it's like liquidy and your your lips feel pretty nourished afterwards. I feel when you rub it in, it sort of exfoliates your lips a little bit. Just pretty nice. But it's expired, so I don't want to use it too much. <laughs> Because I, I don't know if like it, it's going to do something to me. Like a few months is okay, but like... November... It's been, uh, it's been almost half a year, so maybe it's... <laughs> Man, time passes so fast. So yeah, I ended up spending too much money on makeup and skincare. But I needed it, because sunscreen is really important. It's very, very important. Very, 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 very. Funny enough, I didn't start using sunscreen until I was like... Like 20? I remember when I was younger, I used to be so dark. Because... Um, I was really pale. And then... I had like a school skirt. Uh, ex How do you say it? Google Translate, help me. How do you pronounce it? Excursion. English. Excursion, excursion. I had a school excursion. Like in second grade, and we went to the pools. Um, and apparently I didn't use enough sunscreen because I got really badly burned. So much that I had like... Uh, what do you call it? What do you call it? When it, like, you get so burned that you get a fever. What's the name for that? Pulling out big words with Google Translate? It's not even a big word. I know it in Spanish. Excursion. Excursion. School trip, I guess. Is it a big word? <laughs> Well, I guess because like in Spanish, we would call it paseo. That would be like school trip. Paseo escolar would be school trip. But if you're fancy, then you can call it excursion. I don't know. It was the first word that I thought. That I thought of. How do you call it? Like sun damage. When you when you get so uh, so burned that you get a fever. What's the name for that? Insolación. Insolación. Inglés. Insolation. <laughs> what? What? Why do you say it like that? Heat 
stroke. Got a heat stroke. A heat stroke. I got a heat stroke. I got so burnt, I got a heat stroke. I had like fever for a few days. And like, it would be so freaking hard to even sleep because like my whole body hurt. And I, then I feel like I stayed burned like that for a few years. And my skin didn't get any lighter for a few years. Did I know heat strokes give you fever? Yeah, they do. If it's pretty bad, they do. Because like your whole body temperature is high because of the heat stroke. So yeah, I feel like I went three or four shades darker and it sta stayed like that for years and years. And I didn't, then I didn't learn my lesson. I still didn't apply sunscreen for decades, for a decade, like, until I was 20. And then I started applying sunscreen because in china the sun was so strong that it gave me in the face it gave me like some aging spots and that was like so shocking to me because i thought why do i have aging spots when i'm just 20 what is this world So then I started doing skincare and like properly uh, using sunscreen. Plus, I discovered the wonderful world of Korean sunscreen. Because like, I didn't like the Western sunscreens that they, sell, that they sold here. Because they were so sticky and heavy. And they smell like coconut and I or or to sunscreen and I didn't like that. I hate, 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 hate the feeling of something on my skin. So all of my makeup, I do my makeup in a way that I don't feel a lot of sunscreen. But uh, that I don't feel a lot of things on my on my face. Like, I really rarely do foundation. I mostly just put on concealer and that's about it. And then my, my makeup is pretty light. Because I don't like the feeling of stuff in my, in my face. And my sunscreens, they have to be also that way. And my skincare too. They have to apply in a way that I don't feel it. Like it absorbs into the screen, into the skin, and then you don't feel it. Because otherwise, it drives me nuts. Like even the feeling of hair in my face, I don't like. I don't like the feeling of my hair getting stuck in my face. Drives me crazy. Sometimes I feel maybe I am a little bit on the spectrum <laughs> for being that way. Because it just drives me nuts. It drives me nuts. It's like if I feel my hair in my face, I cannot think in anything else. And it itches. And like I cannot focus. And like all my thoughts are just hair, hair, face, face, hair, hair, face, face, hair. Hello, Hyuka. How's my day? It's going great. Just working though. <laughs> mm. 
Like, it started pretty good. You know? Got a nice message in the morning. And then... I've been just... In a good... In a good mood ever since. <laughs> How was your day? Getting ready for work? G work. Work. Oh my god, for work. Are you ready for work? Oh my god, my accent. What happened? Hyuka, are you ready for work? <laughs> mm. uh, what number was the one that I was using? Number four. So yeah, sometimes I think maybe I am a little bit on the spectrum because like like after something gets in my mind like me feeling my hair in my face I just cannot think in anything else. So the loon has become Russian? Is it Russian? It's not my work. Now it's our work? <laughs> what do you mean? Is it Russian? I thought it was like Spanish. I don't think I can do a Russian, Russian accent. Who arrived? Isn't it too early? It's seven. Mm -mm. Oh, because it's Russian. <laughs> okay. So is it or is it not? I don't I don't know. <laughs> I just I just did whatever it sounded like. I don't know. I don't think I'm very good at accents. I can do it if I if I hear it and then I can imitate it. But if it's like out of memory, I don't think I can do it. Russian memes always go with or word in everything. Or or word, yes. If all my time of playing the Metro games has taught me is that the accent definitely sounds Russian. Bra, tan temprano? <laughs> Gosh. My brother scared the shit out of me. He normally comes back like really late. He's early today. He says he's, 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 he's sick. And I hope I don't get... I don't catch his cold because I cannot get sick. What happened, baby? Are you scared? Why you saludar al Damin? Why you saludar al Damin? No hace nada. Go sniff? Damin? Go sniff? I just realized that I used my brother's name. <laughs> I doxed my brother. <laughs> I literally just doxed my brother.
Didn't even think about it. Oh well. Bad smell. Something was smelly, so let's just apply some perfume. Maybe too much. <laughs> too much perfume. What happened, baby? Are you scared? Couldn't tell if it was me or Lucario sniffing. It was me. <laughs> I can I can sniff like him. He does this. That's what he does. <laughs> Ain't I pretty good? Have you heard of Cro? Crawfuls. Crawfuls. What is that? It's like a crow truffle. A croissant waffle. Is it like a croissant waffle? Like those croissants that they just flat flatten? Like those flat croissants that are uh that are pretty popular right now what was that song from oh it was like an angel lemon anime why did i remember that song Croissant waffles. I'm planning to introduce it on my cafe. Pretty cool. Actually, talking about croissants, I have one. I got a croissant. like a chocolate croissant and it has like like a filling that tastes like nutella but i don't think it's hazelnut mm. how good you cannot eat that baby Chocolate is bad for dogs. Yum. Yum, yum, yum. Mmm, nice. Yum, yum, yum. How is your day? Mmm, nice. Yum, yum, yum. You know those NPC, NPC streams? Can someone just tell me if her webtoon is published or not? Oh, sorry, I didn't see the message. Jeez. You don't have to say it like that. <laughs> I just didn't see. It is. You can find the link in the description. I think. You can find it in the description and it is available on Manta. Mm -hmm. Yum, yum, yum. <coughs> Sorry, sometimes the, the chats don't load on my, uh, on my, on my chat app. Because I have like a restream chat app. And sometimes they just don't load. Like I see most of them, but some just don't for some reason. 
And my chat on screen is like too small, so... Um... Let me see... YouTube... Uh, how do I open my stream from here? Uh, YouTube, new tab. Please don't play, please don't play, please don't play. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The second, uh, the third link, it says read blank here. Then it has like a tiny URL and then you click it. And then it opens Manta. But if you click it in your phone, then maybe it, what? Why is it not opening in Manta? Like the website. Well, if you copy the name and go to the Manta website. Uh, Manta comics. It used to work. And then you type blank. Okay, maybe I have to replace the link. Uh, okay, here. Mm -mm. Yeah, I don't know why, but uh, the the link. In the description, it takes you to the app store. Doesn't take you to the... Why are my eyes shaking? What the hell? Okay. My favorite NPC stream trend was uh, the I need more bullets just because the guy sounded funny. Uh, <laughs> I saw one recently that was like a guy from uh, like the Spider-Man multiverse. And like one dude kept... Like there was like a donation that made him warp into that... Into that like place and then there was a guy that kept making making him respawn so he would like get out of frame because he got sucked into another parallel universe and then he would return and he was so funny because the dude was so done but hey in the bright side he got a lot of money <laughs> The art is really pretty. Do you do tutorials on your Patreon? Um, I I actually do my tutorials on YouTube <laughs> for free. I haven't done like a proper video in a while because I've been busy, but um, I was do streams and stuff. And I have some shorts. I want to do more though. But thank you, and thank you if you if you read it. Really, really, really appreciate it. I really appreciate people that <laughs> take the time of their day to read a little bit of black and tell me nice things. Money, 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 Mr. Krabs. Me. Dinero, dinero, dinero. <laughs> I don't know it in English. I only know it in Spanish. Dinero, dinero, dinero. <clears throat> dinero, dinero, dinero. 
I can do SpongeBob laugh in Spanish. That's Squidward. <laughs> Pretty good, no? <laughs> La pizza de Don Cangrejo, la pizza de Don Cangrejo, es la mejor pizza, la pizza, 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 la pizza, 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 es la mejor pizza, es la pizza, 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 la pizza, 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 la pizza de Don Cangrejo, es la mejor pizza. I don't remember the lyrics. Yeah, I don't, I don't, yeah, I've watched some clips, but I watched uh, Spongebob in Spanish. So I only know Spongebob things in Spanish. Dinero, 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 dinero. <clears throat> <laughs> Oh my god, talking about Mew, I was talking with a friend yesterday, I was on a call, I was trying to explain my heart condition to him, because uh, I have like a heart condition that I don't know like what what it is, um, but I had it since I was like a child. Like sometimes out of nowhere, uh, sometimes out of nowhere, my heart will stop hurting and it feels like, it feels like a huge needle is poking, like stabbing through my heart. And every time that I breathe and it will only stop if I don't take deep breaths. So if I take like really short breaths, like <laughs> that sort of short breaths. And I went to the doctor for that when I was younger. Um, and they, they, they did like those, those sort of scans that they do to your chest, like with a cold thing all throughout my chest. And they said it was a heart murmur, heart murmur. And I couldn't say murmur. It sounded like, and, and then, and then my friend said it. He was like, murmur. And I was like, what? And he was like, murmur. It's like, meow meow. <laughs> a heart meow meow. <laughs> I have a heart meow meow. <laughs> uh, so the doctor said that I had a heart murmur and it was pretty common on children. And then when I grew, it was going to go away. The problem is that it never went away. So I still have it. So I, I don't really know if it's a hard murmur, a hard meow meow. I don't know if it's a hard meow meow. <laughs> we were talking about that because I was telling him the story of how and why I taught Lucario how to hug, how to like if you saw my Twitter clip, you can see that Lucario lets me hug him and hold him and he doesn't do anything. Well, he wasn't always like that. He, when I tried to hug him, he would try to like, like play and bite me and stuff. And the problem was that uh, 
when I'm really stressed, be it, be it happy stress or sad stress, bad stress, if I get too stressed, I get those sort of attacks. I don't know how to name it, but I just get them. Um, and the problem was that last year I was really stressed because of my health. And then sometimes I will get like those sort of attacks. And it's like hard to stay standing. So I was just like hold my body on, on the table. And like barely being able to breathe and stuff. And then this freaking dog would just start jumping and biting me. And I was like, please, Lucario, stop. Because like every time that he pushes me, it freaking hurts because it hurts if I move and it hurts if I breathe. So I can like rarely, like barely even move and breathe. And this dude is like barking and jumping and biting. And I had like tears in my eyes because it hurt so much. Then is when I decided, okay, we, we gotta... We got to do a training for this. And then what I taught him was that if I hug him, that if he remains calm, then he gets a reward. So now if I hug him, then he'll stay uh, calm and not move. And then I can wait a little bit until, until the attack passes. And then he gets a reward. <laughs> That's cute. You don't have two wolves inside you. Instead, you have a single kitten in your heart and it's a sleepy boy. <laughs> you mean because of the heart meow meow? <laughs> so, yeah. So, I have that thing and it's... Um, it even happens when I laugh too much. So sometimes I laugh about the most stupid things and I cannot stop laughing. And then I still I, I start having like those sort of attacks. Just because I cannot stop laughing. I don't know. Pretty defective. <laughs> My body's pretty defective. Ah, <clears throat> I think I once had had one of those on stream. I think it was back on February when like a lot of drama was going on in the Niji community. Have you visited the doctor in your adulthood for the pain as well? I haven't. I mean, back in 2017, I think, I told my... I was having therapy with a psychiatrist. I told him, I don't know why, but sometimes like when I'm too stressed, I get this like really bad heart pain that feels like a heart attack. And it only stop if I stop breathing. And he told me it was a panic attack. But to be honest, I don't think it's a panic attack because it doesn't happen. Like, I know what panic attacks feel like because I just feel like crying and running away and it's hard to breathe, but it's not because it's painful. It's just because if I, like, I'm hyperventilating and there's, like, heart palpitations and stuff. But this sort of pain is it's not, it's not that. Like, I don't feel like crying because of no reason. I feel like crying because it hurts. <laughs> but no, I haven't... I have not, like, gone back to the heart doctor to get it checked. Because it's not like... Like, it happens always. It just happens, like... Like, once every... Like every other month or every month and then if i'm too stressed then it'll happen like like i don't know every other week or every week so 
Plus, I I have to pay for my own doctor, so it's like, what if I go to the doctor, and the doctor tells me that I don't have anything, then I just waste waste money on doctors and testing. Cause like, you know, when I was younger, I had like a lot of conditions, like I had eczema, and I. And I had a, uh, I had like knee pain, like in n- with no reason, and then I had this heart thing. And it's not like my mom didn't take me to the doctor because she did. But then we would go to the doctors and we w- we would get no answers. And it's, my mom wasn't the type of parent that would tr- keep trying. So if the doctor said it was nothing, then I was just lying. So I just learned to deal with it. Now, even now, I have a huge fear of not being believed. Because <laughs> I we went to doctor for eczema and they they didn't tell us why it was they didn't do anything they didn't even give me a cream and we went to the doctor for the heart the, the heart pain and the doctor said no it's normal it's just like a heart murmur a heart meow meow so once when, when she grows it's going to go away like uh, most childs have it and then I went to the doctor for my knee pains. And the doctor was like, uh, she's just growing. Maybe it's iron deficiency. So just give her more, more foods with iron. And eventually I discovered that my knee pains are related to food. So if I eat too much soy, or if I eat too much rice, uh, or certain foods, like if I eat peanuts, or any sort of nuts, I'll get knee pains. Mm. I don't think it's normal at all that your heart hurt for like no reason. Well, the doctor said it was normal for kids and that I was going to grow out of it for child knee pain growth was my first thought too well it is usually that thought but the problem is that I still have it (laughs) and I'm not a child anymore and my knees are pretty weak so I, I, I don't think it was ever related to growth So because the doctor said all that, then eventually my mom just started thinking that I I, I was was lying. I was lying about my pain. So I just stopped talking about my pain. Like if, if I was sick or anything, I would just not tell her. She wouldn't believe me. And then that just carry on until now. <laughs> Ain't that funny? Clearly, Lun is still growing. Eventually, she'll become like seven feet tall with knees of steel. It's just growing and it takes a while. Yeah. I'll be 40. I'll become 40 and I'll be like like seven feet tall with huge basongas two and i'll be strong strong right that's that's how it's supposed to happen no
that rem- that reminds me of like one time. Uh, I saw a YouTube short saying you could have chest heart area pain from a cog nerve on your chest. At least that condition is nothing to worry about. I've uh, I've read about it that there's like a condition I forgot the name Perry something. But that it's not deadly. It just freaking sucks. And there's like no cure. It just happens. What was I saying? Oh yeah, that reminded me. Like one time. I stayed all night. Working on um on a school project that was due for the next day. Uh and the night before we had spinach spinach do you do you say like spinach? Spinach spi espinaca How do you say spinaca? Spinaka. Spinach. Spinach. Spin. Spinach. 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 Well, I had spinach lasagna. Lasa. Lasaña de espinaca. Spinach lasaña. You guys say la- lasaña? Lasaña. Spinach lasaña. <laughs> lasaña. Lasaña. Spinach lasaña. So the night before we had that, Spinach lasagna. Lasagna. <laughs> um, and then I work on my school project the entire night. And then, and then, the, the, in the morning, I was feeling so sick. I didn't know why. I was just feeling nauseous. I didn't have any f- breakfast or anything. And then, we went to, to school. And we were like two minutes away from school, like walking. And suddenly I stop. I throw up the floor in the middle of the street. Like, bleh. And my brother just kept walking and then he heard that and he turned around. And he sees me and he asks, like, what happened? I was like, I... I I think I threw up. I think I threw up. He was like, you think? <laughs> and I was like, what do I do? He was like, maybe go back home. But but I told him, but, but, but I have a school project. I have to deliver this to my group. So he uh, said that he was going to give it to me. To my classmates. In my stead. And then I just. I just went back home. And then I, I. Man that time was really bad. Like I threw up even through my nose. Like, I had spinach. Stuck in my nose. It was that gross. And I had to like hold back from throwing up in the car. It was like tr- like in the verge of throwing up and then just like stopping myself and just swallowing it back because I was in the car. And I I got home and I threw up the entire morning. And then I was so freaking tired. Like like my whole body was exhausted. 
And then my my mom wakes up for work around 11. And she's like, what are you doing here? And I was like, I'm sick. I I threw up in the street. I I threw up in the street and and I threw up the entire morning when I came back. And she was like, who gave you permission to to come back? You should you should be on school. I was like, do you want me to throw up in school? She was so mad. And then she didn't take me to the doctor and she just left for work. So I just had to deal with it. And eventually it just got better on its own. After I finished throwing up the entire spinach, spinach, spinach lasagna. Mm. And I still don't know why. Why it gave me like, why it made me sick. It was like everybody else had the same thing. But I was the only one that got sick. I don't know. Mm. <clears throat> so yeah, this is just the way that it was in my home. So it's not like my my per my my mom was really reliable when I told her that I was sick. So I just I just learned to deal with it. Food poisoning somehow? Yeah, probably. Probably. But I don't know why. Nobody else got sick. So unfair! Why just me? Well, my stomach is pretty sensitive. My body is pretty sensitive, so I don't know. Look. So, storyboard, 3D model, and final result. And then the background. Uh, even now, I have huge fears of just not being believed when I say that I'm sick or when I say that I, I'm in pain. So I tend to over-explain. And the problem about over-explaining is that it, it just sounds like you're lying, but I'm not lying. It's just my trauma. <laughs> it's just the way that I am. Maybe your part of the food was under undercooked. But we just shared a lasagna. Cause it, it wasn't like it was just lasagna. It was just spinach. How can that be undercooked? Oh what I wanted to do with this one was uh take the lines and then like um airbrush they have like a strong color and you just go over it uh clipping so that the black doesn't look so strong and then we just raise it in the darker parts you gotta be adamant with doctors especially as a woman <laughs> yeah as a woman, a lot of times, they just don't believe you. They just think you're complaining. I 
That's why I just don't like going to the doctor. I remember last year, uh, I went through like two psych psychiatrists because the first one was like really mean. The first was the first one was like literally so mean to me. So I was just desperate. I couldn't focus on work. I just wanted to fix it. I was burned out and I didn't know what to do. So I just wanted like some ADHD medication cuz I I I have uh ADHD but I was never given medication because my previous psychiatrist told me that I should probably work on my bipolar rather than my ADHD because I was smart enough to be able to deal with the ADHD. And then uh, I took medication for my bipolar for a while, but then I just stopped because I didn't have the money to keep going. Because I, I didn't, I didn't want to keep asking my mom because she, she would just guilt trip me for using money for my mental health and not getting better. So I just stopped, like cold turkey stop after a year. It was really hard, don't do that. Like if you're taking medication, don't ever stop like that. It was really rough times. Um, and I had to stop because I didn't have money to keep going. And I didn't want to beg my mom for medication. Plus, I literally, like, stopped having faith in myself that I was going to get better. So I was like, what's the point? Anyways, last year, I was like, I want to be able to focus on my work, but I can't. Like, my mind is just all over the place. And then this freaking psychiatrist started, like, like telling me, like, why would you stop your bipolar medication? You should go back to your psychiatrist. Like, how dare you stop your bipolar? Like, you're feeling the way that you feel right now because you're not in your bipolar medication. I was like, dude, I've been out of my medication for three, four, for, for at least four years. I'm I just, I'm alive and I'm just fine. I just want to be able to Focus on my work, you know. And my medication made me feel like shit anyways. Like I was dead inside. And she was like, it doesn't matter. You should because you you, you have the condition. And I don't know. So he just gave me a prescription for like a, an antidepressant. That uh, also worked for uh, ADHD. And then he... Gave me back like Lamotrigine, which was one of the medications that I used to have, and I was like, "Please, doctor, don't give me this medication because it gave me, it made me feel really bad when I used to take it. Like I would forget to take it for thirty minutes, and my mood would start swinging. Like I would feel awful, and then I would have like brain saps, like like." an electric shock to my brain and it wasn't nice and then sometimes i would even get nauseous and he was like no that's this other medication that you used to have the benlafaxine i was like no i'm telling you because that's the first one that i stopped and when i stopped that one that stopped happening it's like no you have to take it because if you don't take it with your other medication then you're gonna go manic I was like, okay, I'm going to try. I tried for like a month and a half or two months. I believe it was like two months. It made me feel like shit. So I was right. I was right. And the doctor wasn't. And like for what? He freaking made me cry because he tra treated me so bad. Like, he shamed me for not being able to afford my medication. I was so freaking mad. So, so, so I 
top like I only saw him once and then I got a different psychiatrist um and then the lady the lady at least was like a little bit nicer and we we tried different um, a different medication because I told her I told her I really cannot take lamotrigin and I I tried bupropion but bupropion made it hard to sleep and I was already dealing with like insomnia last year and uh, and it also like made me not be able to eat much because I would be so nauseous so she she tried with lithium she tried with lithium uh ketiapine and then at night we we took salty them until my insomnia was solved which was like after the second month or third month something like that um so so we tried that and at first lithium made me feel so bad it felt like my my knees were weak like I, I would feel my legs get weak and then I had this strange metallic feeling all throughout my body and it was so weird and she she just said that it was normal and that it was going to pass after like a month and the 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 knees weakness did go away but that metallic feeling didn't and then she said maybe it's just the amount so when you take lithium you gotta go have blood work uh often so that you have the correct amount of lithium uh like correct concentration of lithium on on your body so that it works properly and um and we i i went to to get it checked like get the blood work and it wasn't enough so she just she just added to my uh prescription and I tried that for like from March to August. So it's like March is one, April two, May three, June four, July five. I, I tried that for six months. And in those six months, I had the worst headaches that I ever had in my entire life. If you ask uh, the friend that I complained to the most, you'll know how bad they were. They were pretty bad. I, sometimes I just felt like dying because like, I couldn't do anything. I just had to go to bed and just, and just uh, try to sleep. And then sometimes it would like get better but it would be really hard to fall asleep because of the pain it was like my brain just wanted to explode it was like this weird pressure and the pain was really bad and i had motion sickness and i wanted to throw up but it wasn't like coming from my stomach it was like because of the feeling of my pain and then just seeing light was painful so I had to turn off the light and I thought it was maybe because of my wisdom teeth so I got like my wisdom teeth thing solved first I got them removed and then I started getting treatment and stuff. 
And then when that was solved, and it didn't fix itself, and then I had like medication for my jaw, and then my, my stomach started giving up on me because like it was hurting every single day. I was like, I cannot take medication anymore. So I just, I just stopped. I didn't ask anybody, I just stopped. And you know what? After stopping medication, the headache stopped too. After, after like two months of stopping the medication, my headache was also gone. So I was right. It was the lithium that was giving me headaches. And my doctor didn't believe me. So I went through like six months of headaches. Just for me to be right <laughs> about lithium. So yeah, I think I was just poisoning my body with lithium. So yeah, fuck doctors. Fuck them. They think I'm crazy, but I know my body. Mm. It's very hard to find a good doctor. I mean, I'm pretty sure that they didn't do it with the bad intentions, you know. But like... I was not complaining just for the sake of complaining. Like, I really wanted to get my conditions treated, you know. I wasn't just complaining because I wanted to quit. I was complaining because I, I, it, it really hurt. <laughs> the doctors are always like, no, 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 your body's gonna adapt. But it didn't. It didn't. I was right. I have done two. Yesterday I had an awful migraine. Do you take medications? It's for me, after after I got uh, rid of lithium and my other medications, I. Like, I, I've rarely had, like, those sort of headaches. Of course, after that, I did have my eye issues. But that was, like, a different problem. <laughs> it's hard to find a doctor willing to listen. Yeah. It's like, they think you're just a mental patient. And then they just don't want to hear your your reaction to the drugs, to the medication. And it's like, I can't be mental, but I'm not stupid. Like a little cray-cray maybe, but not stupid. I feel like we are guinea pigs to doctors. Try this medication. Doesn't work. Try this other one. No, no, no. For me, it's like, try this medication. Doesn't work. Let's keep trying. Still doesn't work after half a year. Well, maybe you're making it up. I mean, doctors do have some use, but I avoid them as much as possible. Yeah, me too, me too. I think I, I prefer to go through, like, the, hel the healthy diet route. So I can avoid the doctor as much as I can. It's not my fault that my body is defective.
I mean, there's some good doctors out there. Some. It's just hard to find them. The worst part is that a lot of them are actually nice. But you don't find out that their treatment doesn't work until, like, you know, it doesn't work. <laughs> And then a lot of people are, like, just not willing to admit that they were wrong. I don't know why, but I remember that. Before the stream, I saw a fly on the window and the ass was transparent. I didn't know flies had transparent asses. I first tried natural holistic stuff before going to a doctor. We don't have holistic doctors where I live. Like I just wanna, I just wanna go see a Chinese doctor. Like a holistic Chinese doctor. A good one, because there's also bad holistic doctors. Are I had an appointment with a lady doctor from India and she was very standoffish and strict. That's not hard to believe. <laughs> it should be multicolor, iridescent kind of rainbow. What? Oh, you mean the, the fly asses? The fly butts? Transparent butt, yeah. No, but uh, but 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 but, like on top, normally is like iridescent, but then I saw it like from the back, from the bottom, through the window, and it was transparent. I was like, what? This is my first time seeing this. Because, like, you normally see see them from the top, right? And then I saw it, like, from under. It's gonna show off the good somehow. What do you mean, the good? What do you even mean? What does that even mean? You flies be nasty? Yeah, they nasty. They ugly and nasty. I remember when I was like in fifth grade and I saw like flies flying around and like they looked like sparing with each other. So I was like, look, the flies, the flies are fighting. And then someone told me, like a classmate told me that they were having sex. And that's how flies reproduce. And I've been shocked about the fact ever since. Is that true? I didn't even fact check because I was in fifth grade. It's 
stretches, stretches, stretches. Stretching time. Oh yeah. Why is this? What is that? Okay. I think there's like a texture. Can you, can you please copy? And then uh, this one, and then we paste. Not that. What is happening? Please, please don't close. Where did it go? Okay. Gives good dimension without a lot of effort. And then for the shadow, just gonna make it simple. So, like, like this. Oh yeah, guys, are you guys watching um, any animes right now? Like, do you guys have any recommendations? Are you meaning to watch the new season of uh, Spice Wolf? I just haven't gotten into it yet. I'm a manga reader, but I would recommend Somalian The Forest Spirit. What's that about? I haven't seen it. And what's the genre? The genre? Is that a manga or an anime? What? What is, what is happening? Don't tell me that I, oh, okay, I forgot to clip it. <laughs> Another show that has salad in the title. Salad? Haven't watched anime in a while. I didn't watch anime for a long while, but last season, uh, I watch, uh, I was watching Jujutsu Kaisen. I was in watching Apothecary Diaries and then I watched Freedom. And I still have to catch up with uh, Spy Family. A little, little human girl and a golem go across the lands and in search for the little girl's home. It's a fantasy slice of light drama. Ooh. Is it like Freedom? I really, really like free rain. I yeah, probably catch catch um spy wolf. 
I used to be such a huge, huge fan of Spy Wolf when I was younger. I don't know if you guys remember the, the anime forums where you could have like banners on the bottom and like you could have uh on, on your on the bottom of your posts and then uh you would have like a profile picture mine was like my profile picture was like uh it was matching my banner at the bottom uh and it was uh it was of spy wolf and i drew it myself i wonder if i can still find it I dropped free at, at six eps. Why? It's so good. Mac anime. I still find it. Does Mac anime still exist? Wait, wait, I need, I need, I, I, potty break, I need to go to the bathroom. Ah, uh, mute, mute. I'll be back. I'm back. Took the doggo party too. Um. I 
lagi. I have to I have to restart my my tracking a lot because my art my eyes start shaking for some reason. I don't know why. It just happens with my model. Like if I change models it's just fine, but I don't know why my model has such sensitive eyes. They shake a lot. Welcome back, thank you. Doro, hey Doro, seems cool too. I haven't heard of any of those. Was they follow the One Piece manga through the king? Oh man. I have tried watching One Piece, but it's so long. I heard they plan on reanimating reanimating all of One Piece? Isn't that like a lot? My brother said that the plans were to just not add any more filling episodes at the like at, in the middle of the arcs. Not that I would know. I don't I don't watch the anime or read the manga so loita pig what's that that makes me think in the in the chugo kiara song lotta la lotta la lotta la boop lotta la lotta la lotta la And Chugo Kiara makes me remember this one anime. Ah, what's, what was it called? Mirmo Zivang. Mirmo, Mirmo, Mirmo Zivang. El amor es como un tiramisu. Un poco dulce y ligero. Ta -ra -ta -ra -ta -ta -la -ta -ta -ra -ta -ta good did you did you watch it did you guys watch it it was so good it was so freaking good i was i lost my voice that day i lost my voice uh, i also lost my voice because i talk way too much uh so i was hanging out with someone but it was so good like when petra when petra sang ifu dodo I, my voice, my voice is just gone. Completely gone. With the, with the hard eyes and the, and the, and the moaning. I still can't believe that was real. It was so good. I didn't even know it existed until I saw Lin's post in Twitter. Uh, <laughs> it was really good. My favorites were um, Tsunami. Uh, what else? 
啊，衣服多多啊。And then Etheria by Anna. And really, really steady. By Remu was so good. I love that song. I love Prosecai songs. Ready, steady. Pam pa da pa pa pam pam pa da pa pam. Eh. Eh. Na na ko no ma. Na na la la la. Na ne ta i na la. どこまで？ラララララ、ラララララ、バカみたい。結構、結構、文字並ぶなら、もう一度。That song is so good. It's so freaking good. It's good both in Vocaloid and the BB bad version. Cause she got so freaking good with tuning. What else? Then, then we had、uh, Luxium. <coughs> Hope in the dark was really good.、Um, Shu, Shuka, Shuka, real, Shuka, real, and then, and then Shu with Ike, and then Ike with Murio Kupi song, Meisa, and then, and then Shu Shanti. Ah,、uh, ah,、uh, uh, and then Noctix, Noctix with ah、uh, from white to white, Sunny Van Real, Sunny Van Real. It was not a, not a drill. It was not a drill. It was real. It happened. And ah,、uh, what else? Plus, from Y to Y is one of my favorite songs ever. So it was so emotional. So Aya, Aya, if you go to my YouTube channel and like filter the videos by oldest, you'll notice that my first video ever was from Y to Y. Uh, karaoke. Well, well, not karaoke. Like. On vocal karaoke because it has like the lyrics,、um, and Spanish translation. Well, if I check the Spanish translation right now, like nowadays, this is it's pretty cringe. I who even used uses those words like that, but but it was good. The song I still remember most of the lyrics. So like one of the songs that I sang. Lyric by lyric, almost the most was from Y to Y, and it's been fourteen years. And I still remember the lyrics because I love the song so much. Plus, it was Sunny Ban, Sunny Ban real, Sunny Ban real, not clickbait. And then, um, oh my God, S- stuck in the abyss when they. When they went pew 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 pew, and then Sunny said the koyo. What else? Has Shu Shanti. Ah.、Uh, ah,、uh, I think Sunny sang another duet. But who was it with? Who was it with? I forgot. Have to rewatch it. I've only rewatched it up to up to Luxium first half. But man, it was so good. And then at the end, when they sang virtual to life, I cried. I didn't like. Cry as much as I cry when I saw Petra the Beyond three D, but but I, I it was really emotional. It's really really emotional, made me really happy. So so happy. Hmm. 
I heard she was sexy. She was amazing. She carried. She was wow. Like the charisma of that man on stage was like stage was made for him. I'm sure I'm I'm sure it was one of his uh uh, goals when he debuted one of, one of his dreams I'm, I'm so freaking happy that he finally managed to like be on stage and sing and stuff he he did he doesn't even have an official cover he slayed slayed so good like how to be a chair after that shanti how how to be a chair i swear and his face expressions when he was singing Chanti was like, like, sheesh, sheesh, your minions, are you okay? Sheesh. It was the, the only thing, the only sad thing about, uh, did you guys hear that? It was my brother. His sneezes are really loud. Can you hook it up? What do you mean hook it up? You mean like... I really hope I don't catch that. Salud! Jeez. The only, like, the only bad thing uh, about the AR was um, that the girls, the girls uh, presentation, like, segment was really short. And, like, I can understand why, but it was still sad. Because I know that Petra said that, uh, like a long time ago, she, she said that they were working really hard on things and that 3D would come soon. And after a few months, it did come. But that only means that they've been working in AR for a really long time, which means that Selene was there. And because Selene eventually left, then, um, you know, all the issues that they had. Uh, they couldn't use the segments where she was, which means that probably a lot of game segments and Obsidia segments were cut out from, from the band. So if you compare the Laxium and Noctic segment compared to the, the girl segments, meaning Lazuli, Obsidia, and... Uh, Etheria, it was pretty short. Like, Rosemi only had one song, which was a solo, and Petra appeared in two songs, which were, like, group songs. It was pretty sad. I'm so sad I didn't get to see more of Peto. But... At least we got to see her on, on like her 3D debut, so I'm not complaining. It was still very, like, really fun. It's like originally it was supposed to be two days, so you had to buy two tickets. But now it was just one, they just combined it in one. So I guess you get to see more. Uh, with less money, but it was still pretty sad. Nisha is in an awkward position for fans of the talents. Yeah. I mean, it is a, an awkward position for them themselves. Because, like, 
if you reach an agreement, you can still use the voices or the segments because um, like you can hear Nina voice, you can hear Mista's voice, you can you could hear Pomu's voice because they were originally in those segments, but probably not going to appear in this version of AR. But I think Zelen actually recorded her parts. And since they didn't reach an agreement, then they just had to cut it out. But there's going to be like future stuff, so. No biggies, no biggies. Just a little bit sad that we didn't get to see the original plan. After waiting for so long. That was like two years ago, Nina. It's not two years ago, it was last year. It was just last year. No? It was like August. Or July and August for Mista and Nina. They were like one month apart. But I'm pretty, I'm pretty happy that now, now uh, Mint and Matara get to, get to have a podcast together. I really miss them interacting and stuff. Let's move on from Niji, many sad memories. I mean, to me, they're still good memories because AR just happened. And it was pretty, pretty happy. Of course, it's sad for the people that left, but it doesn't mean that I cannot keep supporting the people that I still support. And still making happy memories. Right? Because Petois is still here. Pe Petois is still in Niji. And Dopio is still in Niji. And Sunny is still in Niji. And I love them all. So... I still support the people that I like. Can let all the sadness ruin the, the fun? Of course. Like, um, the people that left are having a lot of fun now. And that's pretty cool. And I'm happy for them. But it doesn't mean that I cannot still... Um, support the people that i love plus the reason why i i've been i've been following niji since uh lasulai since the debut but, but i mean niji yen from the very start but my first oshi was actually uh petra which uh she became uh my my kamioshi right away it was love at first sight and i love at first hearing and because Petra is still working really hard, then I'll still be there supporting her till the bitter end. I find it hard. It is, it is hard. Like, knowing that some of the people that I used to enjoy are, are not there anymore. And the interactions won't happen anymore. But... I've been watching Petra since the very beginning. So, because she's my Oshi, then I trust her. And I support her. So, as long as she gives her best, I'm going to give my best. Because she has given me a lot of happiness. So, I also want to be there to support her. You know? Because at the end of the day... I know that she is happy there. So I, I'll support her decision. I'll be there as long as she's there. Anna is still my favorite from all the waves. Oh my god, you should have seen Etheria by Anna Life. It was so freaking good. Man. 
They also announced a new wave audition. It, it's not a new wave. It's a perpetual audition. So now you can just audition whenever you want, I think. But I hope they vet the people a little bit better so that, you know, problems don't happen in the future. Because the thing is, like, if you apply to a corporation, you gotta understand that corporations have rules. Like, you, you, you just cannot take the benefits and not being willing to, like, face the, the, the rules, follow the rules, you know? Because, of course, being indie is a lot of freedom. But it's also a lot of responsibility. And it's a lot of work. And, it's a, and you have to do everything yourself. And it's hard to be seen and stuff. But you don't have rules. But you have to worry for your own uh, like copyright issues. So of course if you're in a corporation, you have to follow the, the rules of the corporation so that things are profitable. Pro profit tab, pro whatever. And I feel like a lot of people just apply to become popular, and they they don't they don't consider that there's rules and there's things that you have to follow, and you just cannot like do things willy nilly. Especially because of Japanese laws and stuff. So I hope that the people that apply... It's gonna be hard for the people that debut. But I hope that the people that apply know that. Instead of like just... Getting in there to be famous, you know? Especially now, many people are willing to join and maybe leak stuff to boost themselves. Yeah, that would suck. That would suck. Because, like, there's a lot of people that love Niji. That would love to help build it and, like, you know. So it's like, why take the chances away from people that actually want to be there? Why is the anatomy on this one so weird? Yeah, maybe it's the shirt. I'm gonna make the shirt a little bit longer. And yeah, I still love uh I still love Anna a lot too. I was watching her stream today. It was just so, it was so funny. Am I auditioning? I don't know. Maybe I don't know. Maybe I'll try. You should totally do it. I mean, maybe. <laughs> Pom and Nina were probably my two Niyoshis. That's so sad. That's so freaking sad. But you can be happy because now Mint and Matara are having a podcast together. And it's pretty fun. I've been having a lot of fun uh, listening to their new podcast. It's like mother. Mother is back with the fairy in a different shape. Why is he 
is so weird. Maybe get to hang out with Peto in real life in Japan. Imagine, imagine it would be like I if I met Peto in real life, I would literally collapse and die and die a, a happy dead. And I would be like, I I don't need to live anymore because I met my Kamiyoshi. <laughs> Wait, why is it? When did I duplicate the layer? What the hell? Mata seems much happier now. I mean, still figuring things out. I mean, I feel like Matara is, uh, of course, is happier uh, because she's like has less pressure. But a lot of people take her, like her reason of graduating, out of context. Because uh, they say, oh, Niji overwork Nina and stuff. But I've been a viewer of Nina for like really long. And she, she used to say when she was still Nina that uh, she felt a lot of pressure. But it wasn't because of Niji. It was because everybody works so hard that she felt that she also had to work as hard as everyone else. But... Uh, that led her to like feel burnout because um, she always felt that she wasn't doing enough uh, and, and she had to fit like a mold uh, and like and like some people had a conception of her that uh, wasn't like who she really was and um, like the quote unquote fans or audience and um she just felt really pressured to to work as hard as everybody else, and then eventually she she burned herself out. Um, and at the beginning, she didn't like feel as included in Etheria, but they worked through it, and eventually they became really close. Like even now, they still talk, and they're still friends. So at the end, it's like she's happier now, but because she doesn't have like the pressure that she used to feel, she she's just doing her own thing. But yeah, she she's doing great. Viewers were harassing her. That was like. Uh, I believe it was like at the very start some people wouldn't like her and then when Luxium uh, debuted they didn't like her because she would like she would um, hang out too much with the boys and you know how some fans are but you know even the fans that didn't like her they eventually grew to like her Because she, she changed for the better. I really never understood the criticisms. I just thought she was a cool lady. <laughs> but Anna Millie and Nina were drinking together in Canada. When? I know that recently... Mm. Hurry, I'm hungry. <laughs> I know that because of the AR stories, I remember Millie wanted to give their tickets, like their friend codes, to to Nina and I believe uh, I believe Millie was the one that gave it to Nina and she was so proud and then Raymond told like how 
very steady was supposed to be her and Nina. And then she was so sad because Nina was leaving that she was about to not sing the song. And then Nina told her to still do it. So Raymu gave, gave her best. And uh, I believe Anna gave hers to Kyo. <laughs> to the bestie! Where's that line from? Why is it here? Where are even these pants? Why did I drop pockets like that? Man, you probably won't even be able to see because the, the pants are dark. I just do it like that. Mm -mm. The whole idol culture mentality. Yeah, but it went it went both ways for the boys and, and the girls, you know. Like Nina had a lot of issues because like you know she would hang out with the Luxian boys. But then and and Anna would would also got flagged for hanging out with Kyo. And then Mista also got flagged for hanging out with the girls. Like, I believe a lot of Pomo fans didn't like Mista. And I'm like, it's just normal human interactions. What's the problem? I don't know. I I like when my Oshis interact with each other. It doesn't matter if they're women, like female or male. I just love them interacting. It's just funny. Mm -mm. Best Fox mom. Yes. <laughs> Always. Forever. She's like the most supportive mother that you can have ever. Bestie. Yeah, she gave it to the bestie. I think the Kyo drama was dumb. I only recently found out he graduated. It was so stupid. Like, people got seriously mad because he went to Canada to meet Anna and they off collabed. But it was the same with Uki too. Because like, I believe Pomo and Finana, yeah, Pomo, Finana and Uki off collab once. And Uki was there. And people were so freaking mad. But like, why would you be mad? Uki, Uki's gay! He's not gonna sleep with your Oshis! He's gay! And he's like, the gayest of gays! He's literally one of the girls. <laughs> Wait a minute. Why is my... My, my phone stopped charging. All, all the male, female drama is dumb. Uki was there for tech support <laughs> yes and maybe emotional support too <laughs> i don't know 
But yeah, it's just so... It's just so... It's just nonsense, man. Just leave them be. Just leave... Let, let humans be humans. But I feel like sometimes... It is the guys that hate the guys the most. Like, why do you hate your own gender? Like, I'm female and I love women. But I also got, like guys too. But some people just cannot like fathom, fathom the existence of males and females interacting. Like I like like in Holo, uh, I absolutely adore the Holo Stars uh, interactions with Holo Life. Like the Kobo interactions are so freaking funny, but some people don't like them, and I'm like, why? They're hilarious. Like. I'll tell you with Kobo, it's like younger sibling and older sibling dyna dynamic and I think it's so funny. Why is this panel so cursed? I was so okay with it when I made it, but now that I look at it, it's like, why is it so ugly? Like the shirt is wrong. The pants are wrong. Everything is wrong. Now I'm just probably being perfectionist. I'm just gonna leave it like this. Maybe if I fix this part of the shirt. Wait. Like this. Yeah. Little doggo. Yeah, that looks better, I think. Maybe if I... Maybe if I also fit, fix the shirt a little bit here. Maybe it's the necklace. Maybe it's this, maybe it's that. Ends up fixing the entire drawing and drawing it again. <laughs> like this. Oh yeah, when I talk Lucario for party, uh, the fly with the transparent butt was still there. didn't move i wonder if he's even alive but like would it be on the window if he wasn't alive would it i need to touch the window to see if it would move but i felt bad so i didn't but like can he can he stay put on the window like that if he's if it's if he's dead? Uh, wouldn't it fall? Maybe he's tired.
Yeah, I'm just gonna leave the necklace inside the shirt. Looks better. Like that. Okay. I'm I'm happy with that. Happy with how that looks. It's good enough, good enough. I just clip it. And then palette. And then skin. Uh, hair. Oh shit. Crap. Forgot the earrings. I was I was like so paranoid that I forgot the earrings in the in the previous episode, but then I remember that I had already drawn the previous episode, like the beginning, um, long ago, and then the second half was uh, with a different outfit, so. Didn't have to double check. I did forget the the earrings here. Good thing that I thought about it. <laughs> and then, um, accessories. And then uh, earring, this one. Oh yeah. Am I good at dancing? I'm. I mean. Uh, I mean. I was in the in the I was in the folk team, the folk dance team, or the folk folk dance club. On my primary school, I went to that for like three years. And then because I was there for like three years, um, I would go to like events for folk dancing, like Chilean dance. And then... Um, And then when I changed schools, uh, there wasn't like a folk dance club on on that school. So, but I retained my ability. So I was like one of the best in my class in folk dance. <laughs> so I would like teach. Uh, I would like teach the guys how to dance. Folk dance. Cueca. Call it cueca. Cueca chilena. But if it's like free dancing, if it's like like party dancing, I'm like a zero to the left. You ever just make a list of key points of characters' designs? Yeah. Look. Chan. The other things I have like memorized or I have like other cheats. Like this one is pretty n not detailed, but I have ones that are more detailed. Let me see if I still have them 
on my iPad. As I moved a lot of things uh, out of my iPad because of storage. But I must still have something. Yeah, like this one. So this is like Nina from the past and it has like the uniform and then it has like the palette and the jacket I generally do like reference sheets like that for for myself and for my assistants although right now I'm working alone it's better to do it Folk dance. It's pretty boring. That's useful. It's pretty useful. Because like. If you keep it like that. Then you have like all the materials separate. So. You just can. Go back. And um. Like. I can just copy this. And then I have the colors. Without like any shading. The palette, like this, uh, and then if it has like a ring, then I draw it like that, and it has like the materials. <laughs> so that way I can just like, me or my assistants can just go and copy paste. Oh crap! I didn't mean to... Ah, oh my god. I didn't mean to close it. Since I don't draw, I do that by with words. That helps too. But... Um, for visual people, it is like better to have it like... Seeing it. <laughs> I usually just do a rough color palette and no specific clothes, but I know what each of the characters would wear. The problem is that when you draw a lot of uh, episodes, sometimes you may forget new details. Like if your character change clothes uh, constantly, then you probably will forget some details. So it, it is good to have like a reminder of what those details details are because in the past i wouldn't do that and then like i don't know an episode of a character with a with a, a muffler with a scarf would have a scarf in one panel and then two panels after it wouldn't have a scarf <laughs> so i would just forget <laughs> because if you work with assistants like Maybe you will remember, but your assistants, assistants may not. I mean, I'm doing this episode alone and probably the next few ones too. Because I got no money. Um, but it is like a good practice to have. Why did I start shading? I was supposed to finish the coloring. And mew 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 mew. A little meow meow. I don't even know what that P means. Your assistant's fancy. I'm not there yet. I mean, when you work alone, like when you when you publish on your own, it's not easy to get assistants. But when you do uh, like official publishing, then you have like tighter deadlines. You have deadlines. So uh, you can invest money to get assistants just so that you can like have more 
more of a breather between the deadlines. Colors were the pens. Was it the same? Or was it darker? Was it lighter? I guess it was lighter. See, working on my chapters to hopefully release it this year. Give your best! I hope it goes well. I, I was lucky when I published it that uh, Canvas wasn't still as big compared to now. So uh, I was lucky people found blank pretty fast. But I know that nowadays it's a lot harder for comics to be discovered. So don't don't get discouraged. Sometimes like you gotta wait until until like the canvas team notices you and shares it shares it and then uh uh you, you get a little bit of visibility. So don't 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 get discouraged even though it may be hard at first and give your best. Hope that people like it. And the most important is that you should always remember to have fun. Maybe the reason I don't like this is because of the shirt line. Makes him look like out of shape. And why? Maybe if I make the shirt a little bit longer, just a tiny bit more. I don't know why. I'm just I'm not I'm just not happy with how it looks. This one. I literally no one will care, but I do. I care. <laughs> I care. I'm having trouble with finishing my character sheet and I'm anxious to pl publish my webtoon in the future since the competition is so hard nowadays. But like, you, you gotta publish it because you want to share your story don't like when you do it first remember that it is a learning experience and nobody like starts being perfect even now if i check my older episodes i cringe the hell out not not just because like of the art but the paneling and the writing was so freaking bad and I didn't even do character sh character sheets when I started. So yeah, take it as a learning experience and don't put your expectations up. Like when I started, I had literally zero expectations. But because I 
I, I, I promised myself that I was going to at least try before going, like, before just giving up. I, I would, like, at least try. Then I, I just did it. And then I had zero expectations of people finding it, zero expectations of people liking it. Uh, so when people started noticing it pretty fast, too, uh, that made me the most happy. Because, like, if you have expectations and you don't reach those expectations, you're going to be disappointed on, on yourself. But if you don't put yourself like such harsh expectations and you just do it for fun and because you want to share your stories, then yeah, you'll, you'll have a better time. And never, ever, ever, never, ever forget why you do this. Like, do you do this because you want to be popular and famous and earn a lot of money or do you do it because you like to draw stories and share them and see people's reactions and people telling you that they like your stories because for me it was the later it was the latter and I I didn't start doing it for the money <laughs> I didn't expect to earn money especially not a like a lot of money at all when i started uh when i started i was just doing uh i was jobless i was depressed i was a dropped out i didn't know what to do with my life and i was sustaining myself on like independent design commissions that i did and I, I didn't even go to design school like some people just gave me a chance so i was like illustrating and designing for them uh, and I survived like that for for like a year or two. And then uh, after like my second month, I started making money. But nowadays it's a lot harder to make money on Webtoons compared to back then. Because back then we had like the, the beta program. Like the Patreon rewards. And nowadays you just you you don't have that, so it's a lot hard harder hard harder hard, to get to earn money. And um, so yeah, like when I when I got my first pay, I was so freaking happy because I couldn't believe I actually earned money making comics. And back then, back then, my my tablet was was trash, uh, and I was using a. Uh, I was using Photoshop, but from pretty shady, uh, <laughs> pretty shady sources. <laughs> And then um, with my first pay, I could afford, no, with like, when I saved for like two, three months, I could afford a clip studio. Because like, I also had to feed myself. And after saving uh, for a couple of months, Cause I started, I started in 2018 and then um, after saving until around December. So I think it was like from, from June to December, after saving for a little bit, I could afford a display tablet. Which was a Gaomon PD fifteen sixty. And when I was younger, when I was younger, I, 
I thought I I would never be able to afford a display tablet because back then the only display tablets that you could get were uh, were Wacom and they were really expensive, like upwards of a thousand dollars. And like my my old tablet, that. My mom didn't give me that. It was actually my ex. <laughs> it was actually my ex that gave me that tablet. And it wasn't even the best. It was like... It was functional. That was, that was like the important part is that it was functional. So because my mom has like never supported me doing art... I thought that I, w I would never be able to afford a display tablet. So when I could finally afford a display tablet, it was like a dream come true for me. And it came from my own savings. And then in um, the middle, I saved a little more. And in the middle of 2019, uh, I think around... October, no, around like August or September, uh, I bought a unused iPad because I wanted to go to cafes and, and draw there. And eventually my computer was too trash for me to still use it for comics because it kept stuttering and lagging and the lines kept cutting. Like I would draw a line... I would draw a line and it would like be like this. My computer was just was my computer was just dying on me. So eventually I just started using the iPad as my main source of um main uh not main source, main uh, tool for drawing. And it was an it was used, so it was like three like almost four hundred dollars for an iPad Pro. Uh, what iPad Pro was it? From twenty eighteen, I think it was an iPad Pro from twenty eighteen, I believe. And then I just kept using that one until I started working for Manta. Um, uh, which, um, like, after a few months of working with Manta, I could afford a new computer and then afford a new iPad. So I got the the computer that I have one right now, which is like um, 16 inches um, MacBook Pro M1. And um, for the iPad, I have a 12.9 inches uh, iPad Pro, also, I believe, M1. And I've been using that ever since. I think I'm going to use the same iPad until they... Um, release a bigger one i really want a bigger ipad but yeah all, all the things that i got like when people tell me oh uh, you, you you're sharing 3d backgrounds but you bought them and i don't have money and it's like dude when i started i barely had a functional computer i barely had a functional ip like not ipad tablet I use free models that I found on the internet for months and months. And then when I made uh, Lost Soul, I bought my first model. And that model was, I bought it with the money that I earned from making comics on Webtoon Canvas. 
And nowadays it's even easier because there's a lot of free resources. Like you can get a lot of free models on uh, that are pretty good on Clip Studio assets. Or you can go to Acon 3D and they also have pretty good models that are free. Like I've seen a classroom that I use that I paid money for that. Uh, and it's free now. Or, or there's like pretty similars that are free. But yeah, you, you, you cannot just like start doing this sort of thing expecting to like get a lot of views and money because reality is that you'll probably get really disappointed and you lost like you lose like your passion for it. You gotta go into it uh just because you love what you do. Otherwise you you're gonna get burned out pretty soon. Because it's a lot of hard work. So nice to hear how you progress. It gives hopes to others. Yeah, I... All the things that I have for drawing... Um, that I have right now for drawing or the 3D models and all of that... Um, <laughs> wait... Talking about talking about that Talking about that like I I told you guys that some people complain like is there any free models? It's like oh the, all of them are paid and, and you you only use pay 3d models and I'm broke I literally just, just got that comment on one of my shorts one of my youtube shorts i think it says something like is there any free models because i need one like really bad and it's like there are you just gotta look for them or you can make your own if you use sketchup you can just find th uh uh, between between Agon 3D and SketchUp, you can just uh, find s free stuff and modify them and create your own rooms and backgrounds. It takes time, but you can reuse them. Well, uh, did you hear that? My stomach. I'm so hungry. Should be eating my croissant. Yummy, yummy, yummy. Mm -hmm -hmm. I don't have any more drink. Of, I drank my, my entire matcha drink. But yeah, I I started from nothing. And like, I did my best to find whatever free things that I could use. Of course, if you can afford it, you should go for it. Just like, it's especially models that you know that you're gonna reuse. You know?
But if you just don't have the money, then you can just use free stuff. There's a lot of free stuff nowadays. Even if webtoons nowadays is harder, there's a lot more resources to make your comic look professional compared to back then. Like back then, we didn't have as many cool assets that we have right now. And a lot of people post them for free. Like even I, I have uh, several, uh, not several, I have like two uh, resources on um, Clip Studio and they're totally free. And you have like 3D model models that are free and stuff. Well, I guess Clip Studio is an investment. So if you don't have Clip Studio, maybe it's a little bit harder. But I didn't start in Clip Studio. <laughs> I started in Photoshop. And it was so shitty. But the important part is that you gotta just do it. I always I always tell like my my friend um like you you just gotta do it. Like you cannot just uh expect everything you do to be perfect. Like if I had stopped when I when I started, if I had stopped because I thought I sucked at it. I would not be here. <laughs> because even now, I don't think I'm I'm great at what I do. <laughs> but you strive for experience, not for perfection. And then with time, you just improve. Man, I remember my first comic, it was so freaking... The first webtoon that I uploaded, it was so freaking cringe. Not only it was cringe, but it was also rated 8.2 or something like that. Because like, blank was like rated like... Nine point uh, nine point one, nine point two, something like that. But my first one was like uh, it was like eight, eight, eight point two. It was so cringe. You actually can still find it if you go to. It's not my, it's not the same account that I uploaded blank and lost soul, uh, but you can still find it if you go to webtoon. You can type summer rain. Uh, by Linz Z H C. And you find it. It's pretty cringe. It only has like three episodes, I think, because. My computer back then was like really shitty and it was already getting old. It was a it was a netbook that I bought uh with my first pay when I was in high school. No, when I was in 8th grade. So in 8th grade I worked the entire summer to buy myself a netbook because my old computer that my parents gave me was so bad that you would turn it on and it would freeze and you had like you you had to you had to like race again against your computer against my computer i had to race against my computer to like open tasks and close everything and hope that i didn't close something important and then maybe the computer would work. <laughs> and I tried rebo re 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 rebooting it. I didn't work like for a, for a week. And then stopped working again. 
But she had this this issue where my mom hated us, so she would turn off. Like she would have an automated、uh, system where the lights on the computer room, because she didn't let us have TV or computers in our rooms. The lights on the computer room would just the, like the power would just turn off after nine p.m. So you could be like doing schoolwork. Nine p.m. Everything goes off. I was so freaking annoying because it was so freaking annoying because I lost several like school works like projects because of that that I had to start again or like hours of progress. Because you know, back then, not everything had auto save, and that made me so freaking pissed that for my first pay, I just got, I just got a computer, got a netbook. It was shitty ass two hundred dollars netbook. Nowadays, you can get something decent with two hundred dollars, but back then, I mean, quote unquote decent. Cause like it's still not gonna be good, but more decent than back than back then. What was it? Twenty. What year was it? Twenty ten, twenty nine, twenty. I don't remember. So I I I worked the entire summer and got myself a computer so that I could do school projects and、mm, and things. But then my mom got mad at me because I got a computer and I could have it in my room, even though the intention of the thing was to use it for school. She got so mad that she just cut the internet from her home. And ever since I never ever had internet ever again, at my home, paid by her. Like the internet that I'm using right now, I pay it. She uses it too, but I pay it. And that shitty ass computer that I got. When I was in eighth grade, after working the entire summer, I I did my first webtoon on that. And then when I was working, I believe it was like chapter four, because I don't remember if I posted three or two episodes. But if I posted three, then it was chapter four. I was working in chapter four, and my computer was already having like battery issues, so I had to keep it connected. And then my shitty ass, stupid ass cousin in China, that acted like a five year old, but the dude was, the dude was ten. He just ran to my room. This was in China. He just ran to my room and, because、uh, he wanted to ask for my 3DS so he could play, and disconnected my computer. I lost entire progress of that episode. I was so mad because back then I, I didn't I didn't make the pages like I do now. I made them like in comic shape. And then I would like paste it in a in a webtoon format. I lost lost the progress of that thing, and then I was so demotivated to keep going. Plus, in China, it was so hard to to upload an episode because webtoons webtoons uh US was blocked in China, so I had to use a VPN. And the thing, the thing keep disconnecting, 
and the 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 upload progress kept failing so it took me like two hours to upload a single episode because it kept failing and then i lost the account <laughs> so i had to make a new one because i don't use that email anymore because it's the email that my ex hacked So yeah. Mm -mm. Oh yeah, I don't have water. Is it 10 already? Yeah, I'm gonna finish this panel and um and end the stream. And that was my first experience making a webtoon. <laughs> Not only did I do it in the most shitty ass computer that you can imagine. It was like a HP, HP netbook, uh, like 10, 10 inch or 9 inch uh, screen. Let me let me see if I can find it. Oh yeah, I was I was trying to see if Makanime still exists. Like, does the server still exist? It's not loading, so I guess not. Yeah, it's not loading. But you can still find the archive, I guess. Oh my god, this is so nostalgic. I wonder if I can find my page in my anime archive. Discussion semanal. Can you search in the archive? Oh, let me see. Uh, Makanime archive. Uh, Lins. No. What about just Lins? Nope. Nope. Can I use the search bar, please? I cannot, man. A lot of things were lost in that page. It was like the first page that I ever uploaded my drawings. Oh yeah, I was going to uh, search for my first computer, my first like self-bought computer. It was a, uh, 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 it was an HP. Was it HP? Was it HP? I don't think it was HP. Let me see, HP netbook. 2010, maybe? Was it HP though? I don't think it was HP. Well, this is close enough. It sort of looked like this. Uh, 
image media search and image okay and then downloads this one oh oh no 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 oh no 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 that's media image and image then browse it looks like this my first computer i'm not sure if it was an hp though i think it was more shitty than an hp but it was like this and it was pretty small like 10 inches I drew in this little thing. It was like... It was like... It was like the size of my face. It was like this size. It was like this small. It was really small. <laughs> A yeah, computer like this is uh, is how I made my first webtoon. That reminded me of like the weird story. Um, how I got the computer. So I was uh, I went to the retail mall. I went to the mall. To, to get the computer and like check if there was uh, anything I could afford and there was this seller mind you I was like 13 I was like 13, 14 something like that, no I was like 13 and I went to I went to the retail store uh, <laughs> I asked the, the guy and to be honest the guy was kind of handsome I asked it, well, I don't know. In my memories, he was handsome. But my memories, like my standards were really low. So, I don't know if, if it is because my standards were low or he was really handsome. I don't remember. But he was really handsome and he was nice. So, uh... He approached me and he asked me like what I needed and I said that I I wanted a I wanted a like a cheap computer, like a notebook or a netbook, whatever could be used just to do like homework and stuff. Um and then's like how I found this this netbook computer. Um and he was like, you know, I I have this used computer, like a an HP notebook that I could sell like for almost the same amount of uh, the same price, but a little bit like just a little bit more expensive. So mine was like one hundred eighty, and he was offering me like US dollars nowadays. Um, like the equivalent of that nowadays. Back then, it would have been a lot. Um, less. But yeah. It was like. Mine was like 180. And his was like 200. And he was like, if you meet me. In like another day. Like if you come back, I don't know, a Saturday and you meet me and you find me, I can sell you my computer at 200 and it's a lot better. It's an HP. It's a lot better than the one that you want to get. And it, it creeped the hell out of me. So I just got, I just got the cheap one. And maybe it was the wise thing to do because i was alone i i don't know if the dude was like trying to like groom me or if he was trying to scam me or if he like really really wanted to sell me his computer 
Because I was alone and I didn't know anything about computers. Plus, I was like, I was like 13. So yeah, it was pretty sus. I had totally forgotten about... Yeah, meet him. So he could sell me his computer another day. Like... Outside of work. Does it also sound suspicious to you guys? <laughs> I had totally forgotten about this story. It's, it's been such a long time. It was uh, around 20, 2010 or 2009. Meaning two, 2008 or uh, 2009 or 2010. But yeah, uh, up, up until this day, I don't know if he was just being nice and really trying to sell me his computer or if he was trying to scam me or if he was trying to groom me or maybe kidnap me. But because I always been a fearful person, I just didn't want to risk it. So I just, I just got the cheapest, uh, shitty ass computer <laughs> that I kept for five, six years. I survived with that shit for six years. Man, the most frustrating part is that my brother always had the better computer, you know? And then I had to spend money to get myself a, a usable computer. And then when my brother graduated from school, he he got a uh, a notebook for um christmas so i thought maybe when i graduate from school i will also get a notebook for college for christmas i didn't get one I only received uh, a notebook, like my mom gave me a Mac MacBook only when I was in China because she could like pretend that she was a really nice mother <laughs> because my uncle gave his daughter a MacBook so because my cousin broke my computer then my family knew that I needed a computer. So my mom couldn't like... Uh, like look to them, like she didn't care about me, so she got me a MacBook. It was like... 20... 16? And she got me a MacBook from 2012. But I was still pretty grateful. Like, don't get me wrong. Because I used that computer until... Uh, two years ago. Your mother has a favorite? Yes. <laughs> I mean, she's pretty shitty with both of us, but like she clearly has a favorite. 
I'm between us two. Her favorite was not either of us. It was her boyfriend. So every Christmas she would get him like the most fancy expensive shit and the most gifts. And we will get stuff like clothes. And I don't remember her like ever getting me something expensive. Because like my my first computer, it was my dad that gave it to us, but um like them together but it was actually a hand-me-down my computer was a hand-me-down from like a restaurant worker and then my mom would would like give my brother like electric guitars and stuff like uh throughout the years she gave him like two because he really two and an acoustic one like two electric and one acoustic and she never gave me something like that. Like, I really wanted a keyboard. And instead, I just got a used keyboard. From my mom's boyfriend. That was so old. So, so, so old. That when I... Because I needed it for class. So, when I brought it to the school... And it was also really heavy. When I brought it to school, my music teacher, which by the way was pretty old, like 50 plus years, years old, he, he, he came to me and he was like, because he, he saw the case. And then he came to me and he asked me, Hey, did you get this from someone called name name name? <laughs> my mom's my mom's boyfriend's name. I was like, how did you know? He said because I sold it to him. My music teacher sold his old ass keyboard. To my mom's boyfriend years ago. He was that old. And that's what I got. Because I, I still remember. We, cause we went to uh, the north for vacations. We went to the first region. Well, I don't think it's the first region region anymore, but it used to be the first region. We went to Iquique and then we went to the mall. Uh, but I don't remember if, if, if this was in Iquique or it was in the capital, Santiago. Um, uh, we were to a, a, an instrument store. And my brother was like checking guitars. And I was checking keyboards. And then my brother was like, I really want to like this guitar. And they got it for him. And then I asked my mom, then can I get a keyboard? And she was like, no, it's too expensive. It was like $200. It's a small world. Yeah, it is. I was shocked. I was like, what are the odds that that my music teacher would sell his keyboard to my mom's boyfriend and my mom's boyfriend would lend his keyboard to me. <laughs> and then I would decide to bring it to school and then my music teacher would notice that that case is the case that he use for his keyword so yeah I always got the, all the shitty things well 
Which is it's sort of sad. It's sort of sad because <laughs> on Christmas, I would always be the one that got the worst things and the least gifts. And then I would just, I, I would just go to my room after opening the gifts at night because we have the tradition of opening them at uh, 12 a.m. The, in Christmas Eve. Like Christmas Eve, then it's 12 a.m. and then it's Christmas, right? So we would open it at 12 a.m. And after opening the gifts, like after seeing everybody enjoying their gifts and being happy, I would just feel so... So, like, so... Angry at myself for not being able to be happy with what I got. Because it was never what I wanted. There were gifts, but it was never what I actually wanted. Um, and I would cry every single Christmas. To the point that I just didn't enjoy Christmas anymore. Even now, I just don't like Christmas. So yeah. <laughs> Yay, happy stories. <laughs> uh, it's okay, it's okay. It's just how things are sometimes. At least I got like I, I would console myself that at least I did get gifts, you know. Because like, some of my friends didn't even get gifts. And at least I got clothes. So there's that. I got you still streaming. I was gone for like an entire hour doing car shopping things and just got back. Yeah. I'm about to end. I'm just just about to finish this panel and, and in the stream. So I'm also getting hungry. Yeah, so when, when when a lot of people say that, I don't know, I wish I went back to my childhood and stuff. Um, I don't think I'll be ever able to relate to that. Because my childhood was... My childhood was really shitty. And at least now, I have like the money to buy the things that I want. like this hmm I don't know Anyways, I feel like it's too blue. Do you already know what I'm 
going to eat uh probably soup. I think I have some soup left over from yesterday and um and I have half a croissant. Good food can make you forget bad stuff. I just I would just have soup. But I have half a croissant. Ain't that good? <laughs> yeah, I move a lot to see if I, these stutters like does it does it does it get laggy? Cause like last stream was pretty laggy for some reason. But when I was seeing it in OBS, it looked okay. So I don't know. Is it too dark? Yeah, this is good enough. What I'm gonna do though is um, I open like a new canvas. Open a new canvas. No canvas, a new layer. I'm just gonna. Is that is that the doorbell? Didn't order anything though. What is that sound? Maybe it was a dog. See, and this gives it a lot more dimension. I did the same here, as you can see. And then the last thing that I want to do is... Um, should I use overlay? Just highlight a little bit in the back. Just to like make the characters pop off a little bit more from the background. And then what I also want to do is use the polyline and select lose like the the background inside the bathroom and then we're gonna copy that and rasterize apply mask then we're gonna take the blur and we're gonna blur this up here a little bit more uh, and we're gonna lock the... That's too much. We gotta lock the transparency in place. So we don't want it to go out of the door. We're just gonna blur a little bit the background. The difference is really subtle. Uh, so subtle, subtle, I think. Eat some food, rewatch AR Live. Uh, I'm gonna probably rewatch it, but like, 
while working, so listen to it. But uh, I'll probably chat with some friends while eating. What is... Why is it blue? Is it this? Is it this? Okay. I don't want it to be like too blue. And um... When I move... Uh, not move, but like... Make the gradient start a little bit lower so that you don't see the ceiling. And the last thing that I wanna do is I'm gonna put Lou and Nina in the same folder and clip a new layer and with overlay and uh and uh what do you call it? Maybe add instead. And uh, airbrush, I'm gonna just add a little bit of light to the head. White though, or blue? Mm, maybe lighter? Yeah, that's better. This gives it like a little bit more of dimension. Okay, I'm done. I'm done with this panel. Like, this is why rendering is important because this panel without rendering would look like this. It's pretty flat. Right? Oh, wait. It's pretty flat. It's still good. But it looks too flat. But if you add lights on top of the background, it improves. And then if you add like an overlay of light uh, behind the characters, it makes like the faces uh, pop off. And then if you add a little bit of like a light on top of the head then it adds like dimension like the light is hitting on top of the head but it's like a soft light and then if you add uh like well this one doesn't have multiply uh let me add that so if you add like a little bit of multiply of shadow in one side and then the lights on top then it looks like Urgh, can you guys hear my stomach i'm so hungry <clears throat> and if you add like a a last two layers of rendering it looks a lot more professional and put together and this is why rendering is really important you have you can have a really pro background but if it doesn't have rendering uh the composition looks disjointed and you can elevate the quality of it a lot just by adding those little things uh those little a few layers with blending modes that's the last tip of the day okay guys gonna end stream let me see if uh somebody's streaming that we can rate on youtube Customization, Resurrect. Ah, uh, wah, 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 wah. Is there a VTuber streaming? Lucien. Uh, nobody's streaming right now. Okay. We're not raiding then. Okay, guys. Thank you for coming to the stream and hanging out for like four hours. Has it been like four hours? 
yeah, like four hours. <laughs> uh, hope this was helpful or fun to like anyone. I just wanted to like chat and hang out. It was a uh, pro artist. <laughs> Stop it. I don't know what I'm doing half of the time. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm just gonna go. Gonna go eat because I'm really hungry. So you guys too, don't skip your meals and um, have a, re a good rest of the day, afternoon, uh, evening, night, wherever you are. Okay. Bye bye. Hasta luego, vista. Oh yeah, my 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 stream deck is finally working again. So, ending ending screen. Bye bye. I'm so hungry. <sighs> bye bye, guys. <laughs>